Hey what's up guys welcome back to Archihacks and today we're going to create this amazing solar study in less than 10 minutes and you'll be surprised how easy this is. The trick to creating this is using Rhino's animation tool and I promise you by the end of this 10 minute video you would have learned a skill that would save you hours of your production time. So without further ado let's dive right into it. Okay, so first things first, here we are in Rhino and here's a very basic model that we want to study. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your animation. So we will go to set one day animation. Okay, so that should bring up this little window and from here you can set up your location. Uh, for me, we are located in, this project is located in Toronto, so I'm gonna set that as Toronto. And then the north angle, so this is the number of degrees clockwise from the y-axis. So it, let's say my model is already placed perfectly north, so whatever you see on the plan view is exactly true north, then you can just set this to zero. But if your model is actually a little bit off-center from the actual north, you might want to add a custom value here as well. For now, I'm going to start with this one. Okay, and for typical solar study, you probably want to study the summer solstice and the winter solstice. And for that, you can put in the June 21st as a date. And the year can be anything. And then have to set up the time. I'm going to choose 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And for minutes between frames, we'll do 60. So that means one hour between every frame. So what we're telling Rhino to do here is we want Rhino to take a screenshot every hour between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that should generate several images for us. And now the capture method has a few options as well. But for us, I'm just going to go ahead and choose Sun Preview. And then since our time range is set to a summer solstice, I'm going to set the name to Summer and the viewport will leave it a perspective. Okay, so now let's say you want to preview what things are gonna look like. In that case, you can go over to the perspective and right click on the name. Okay, so from this, it's not gonna be accurate, but you can kind of see what the shadow is gonna be like at a certain time of the day. So let's say we'll bring up the light panel, turn on the sun, and if we configure everything the way we did before, let's say for example, we'll choose Toronto again and set the time of the year to June 21st. And we can kind of see what the result will be from here by dragging across the time frame that we have set. So this is a quick way to check whether you have set everything correctly, if your north arrow has been set and things like that. So if everything's looking good, I'm going to go ahead and turn the sun off and run this command called record animation. And now from here, let's set up the save location. I already created a folder for summer, so I'm going to choose this folder. And then I'll set the run animation to no, and then hit enter to start recording. So as you may have noticed, there has been like a quick screenshots being taken on your screen. And if you head over to the folder that you have set just now, you can see a whole bunch of screenshots being saved. And if you just flip through them, you can see how the animation is being saved. Okay, cool. Everything's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Photoshop to combine all these images. Okay, here we are in Photoshop and what I like to do here is I want to open up just a single file so and then drop the rest of the files into it. So it's sort of like this. I've just uploaded this one and then I'll put drag and drop the rest of the sun study into the file and just hit enter until it finishes importing all the images. Okay, now that it's been complete, I'm gonna double click on the background to release the lock. And then control click on the new layer to put a layer below and then set it white. You can do that by hitting control delete. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and select all the Sun Study images and set the blending mode to multiply. And I'm going to start hitting some number pads so that this adjusts the opacity of all the layers that we have selected. So if I set something like 30 or 20, things are looking pretty good. So I'm going to set it to that and I'll go ahead over to the adjustment tab over here and choose levels. Make sure the levels adjustment layer is at the top. And let's use the color picker over here. Choose the white one and then choose the lightest part of your model. So it's probably over here. And then for the darkest one, you actually you could do it if you want to. You can find you can try to find the darkest part. But usually the darkest area is the actual line itself, so I like to just leave it at that. Okay, now, last but not least, we will add a gradient map. Now, you can choose the color palette to the kind of diagram that you want to create. But for our purpose, we want to find this, like, you know, heat map effect. So, let's explore just a little bit. Now, this is probably pretty close we will choose this preset out of the red section and one thing I want to do is I want to reverse the order so that so that the area that gets the most light gets the yellower color or orange and the area that's the darkest gets this purple color all right cool now by adjusting these sliders you can make it so that the area that gets the most amount of shadow can have this darker color and I think I might want to change the color to something slightly bluer. So I'll do something like that. And... Adjust the sliders just a little bit. Okay, cool. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now already you have a pretty good looking diagram right over here and you can repeat this process for different time of the year as well. And when in doubt, if you want to edit something, you can just turn off all the adjustment layers and then make more modifications. So for example, if I want to erase some of these lines around the site, I'm going to go ahead and copy the color. By the way, I'm choosing the brush tool and holding down alt to choose color picker and start erasing. Of course, it would have been the best if the model was cleaner, but we can improvise and work with what we have. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is the idea. Um, you can spend as much time as you want to clean things up and play around with it. But here's a really quick way to create a very basic solar study. And um, yeah, hope this saves you guys a lot of time during the deadline times. As per the usual, so if you have any questions, Feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And be sure to like and subscribe uh, to see more contents like this on your feed. So until next time, take care. Bye.